Greetings and salutations everyone, Crimson Nero here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. In the last episode, we got through a lot more of the game, and we have entered uh, at definitely at least the halfway point of Yogurt Yard. In this episode, we're going to be continuing our adventure through Yogurt Yard, and we will then enter World 6. Alright, let's get this started! Whoa! Ah! Stop with the things that make me hurt, please! I'm invincible, no I'm not. Yes I am, no I'm not! Ah! Spark is really good if you need to get into close range combat with, uh, with minor enemies. Sorry, just surveying the landscape, just making sure I don't miss anything. Hey, a warp star! Warp stars are uh, one of Kirby's uh, major ways of getting from one place to another. If he can't, uh, if Kirby can't um, just run or walk or fly himself. Well, I w originally wanted to get fire, but I guess I'll just have to wait for another time. Oh no, it's a giant lion! And he's on fire! You know what? Forget it. Star to your face! Burning! Hmm. Sorry, I was lost in thought there for a second. I'm just gonna tank it. Tank it like a man! Hey! Yes! And I'm out of here! And the mojo's gone. Last episode, I kept on getting all the number ones, and then after that, just nope. So yeah, um, as you can see, I didn't actually get every single thing in this, uh, in this stage. I'll come back later, after, uh, I'm right before I go against the final boss, and I will come and get this secret, as well as any others that I failed to get to in the future. Oh, this level, I remember this level, this one. Oh boy. Sorry, uh, I had, a I had a few, uh, mishaps here during, uh, during extra mode. But don't worry, it's all cool. Run, 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 run! Yay! Okay, so, I need Hammer to actually get uh, to the secret that is in this stage, but unfortunately, I don't have Hammer, so I'm just gonna have to leave that for another time. Alright! Hey, considering that these are the first two, and that these are the only two um, things that I've missed, and it's already World 5, yeah, that's still pretty good. Anyways, boss time! Oh, no, 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 oh, jeez. Uh, it's the, it's the Great Mole, or Steel Mole, or whatever he's called. I should have picked up, um, I should have picked up Laser before this, because Laser is a really good way of getting rid of this guy rather easily and rather quickly. As long as I'm in a straight line with him, which most of the time you are, then, hey, it works. Lots of damage for everybody. Everybody gets damage. Boom. Also, uh, yeah, it is really easy to die against this boss. Not only because of health loss, but also the fact is, considering it's an auto-scroller, there are a lot of ways that you can get crushed. 
Or sometimes he'll actually dig out the ground behind, dig out the ground at the bottom of the screen, like right underneath me, and next thing you know, you're dead. Whoa, that was a close one. Wow, finally a boss that isn't taking, that is taking me more than like two seconds to do. Then again, Krako uh, took time as well, but that's because auto scroll, or not not auto scroll, but the section before you start the all right, start the proper fight. Yay! I did it. I didn't even need a copy ability. Victory is mine. Level 6, Orange Ocean. Wait, are we talking about the fruit orange or are we talking about the color orange? That actually brings up a really, uh, really uh, good, a uh, really uh, strange thing. Or not really strange. What's the adjective I'm looking for? Interesting thing. Let's go with that. Interesting sounds good. Um, is. Does the color. Did, what came first? The color orange or calling the fruit orange because both are spelled and pronounced the exact same way and yet we normally associate orange the color as being the color of an orange the fruit so really what came first i don't honestly remember but eh whatever whoop oh jeez ah! I'm trying to get rid of these burning dudes, but oh my goodness, they are they want to be jerks and try to kill me. Yes, hammer, awesome. Just what I needed. Because I need to get down here. But first, I want some health. And an extra life never hurts. Haha! <laughs> 14 lives. There we go. And we have unlocked ourselves a museum. Oh no. Don't go away! Yes! If I can keep you, then I can go back to... Oh jeez. No! Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to say, if I could keep Hammer until the end of the stage, I would then go back to, um... To the last uh, few levels and get those secrets because I needed hammer for it. But like I said, I'll just, I'll just get them later. Much, much later. Nah, just kidding. This game goes by pretty fast because, well, hey, it's a, it's a GBA remake of an NES game. Now I understand that NES games were supposed to be rather hard back in the day, but. Hey, not every single game needs to be really hard, now does it? That being said, not every single game needs to be easy as well. I like this game because, yeah, it, it's a little on the easy side, but heck, it's fun! That's what really matters. Come on. Sword. You jerk. Coming out of nowhere and trying to defeat me in battle. That is not very gentlemanly of you to attack me when I'm not even defending myself. I see your brethren are trying to accomplish this too. Well, they can try, but they shall fail. Ow. Okay, maybe, maybe that one, maybe that one did, but he's of a different enemy type. So he's he's technically not your enemy. He doesn't. I mean, he's not your brother, and he doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there's something in... Okay, there we go. <laughs> ah, yes, I need a hammer or a... Um, or a stone ability. Aha! Aha! 
I'm trying to think if um if enemy combinations actually have to do with what ability you get because this is the, this is the second time that I've swallowed two Sparkies and have gotten Hammer as a result. So that's kind of making me think um, if there's like different quote unquote recipes or combinations that you need to to use uh, to swallow before you can actually um uh, to actually get the the abilities that you're looking for. So. I guess from now on, I'll just try swallowing two Sparkies before I try going on and trying to get Hammer. All I want to do is just get through the door, that's all I'm asking, man. It's all I'm asking, man! Oh, speaking of going through doors. So, obviously, a lot about Kirby is going through doors, but, um, yeah. If you actually go to a stage that you have already completed, then... and then you pause the game, You'll actually have the option of um, of selecting um, exit through a door. So basically, you'll leave the level uh, because you've already beaten it. So if, for example, you're uh, you're going to a level because you want to try to get a certain ability or trying to uh, trying to do something in that specific level, like unlock a secret or something, then. If you've already accomplished what you set out to do, and you don't want to finish up the rest of the level, you don't have to. You can just, uh, you can just finish up what you're trying to do, and then exit the level because you've already beaten the level. Hmm, I'm trying to think whether I want to go back and get those other secrets, or if I want to proceed to stage three. You know what? I'm gonna go back. I knew I was gonna save this for, uh... For later on, but oh well. Actually, never mind. I'm going to go to this one over here. Wait, what am what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I know I definitely need the hammer for this stage. I just need to be careful when it comes to these wheels. Okay. That was close one. That one was two. You know what? Forget it. I'm out. Oh, gee, up. Oh! <laughs> that one was close. Okay. Oh no! Yikes. Okay. Got to be careful here. Okay, just got to get to the water room, and then I'll be fine. Nope. I'm not losing you. Not yet. Darn it! Come on! I just got to make sure I don't take another hit. Do not... Good. Okay. There we go. Excellent. And we get our life for heat. I uh, we got our life, and we get an extra life. And awesome. So yeah, we just unlocked another warp star room, which will allow us to, um, as you can see journey between the various levels. You just have to make sure that you have unlocked the Warp Star room in each world to actually gain the ability to Warp Star to these individual worlds. Alright. Let's see, I just need to hang on to Hammer for a good amount of time. If I just stay up here... I think things uh, should be fine, as long as killer parasols don't destroy me. Sorry, had to itch my nose there. I can't let's play on an itchy nose! What do you take me for? Okay, gonna forget about you... Okay. Burning Lion. 
Oh. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. Boom. All right. Let's see. Wait. Was this a stage where I just didn't manage to even find the secret, or did I actually need hammer? I'm trying to remember now. This is creating a problem. Nah. Did I need laser or burning? Ah, pain! You know what? I don't need... There was no point in me revisiting this level because I couldn't find the secret to begin with. Okay, never mind, there is a purpose because I just got myself another extra life. Heck yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll come back to that one later. Time to move on and make some progress. Hey, medicine! Yes, please. Thank you. Burning. Ouch! Why does burning hurt? And our monkey friend is back! With a vengeance! Ow. Forget it. I needed a hammer anyways. Technically burning would have actually sufficed as well. Okay. Get rid of Sir Kittles over there. Yes, that is his actual name, Sir Kittles. Okay, um... Ah, yes, I remember now. That is technically not the right thing to do. Well, if you want to be that way, I guess that's just how it's going to have to be. Oh no! Ah, uh, shoot. I could have used you. Okay. Yay! Laser! Okay. The reason why I need laser specifically is because, as you can see, the fuse located over here is actually underwater. Therefore, using fire does not work. However, if you notice that the, um, the, the wall over there has a little bit of a slant to it, I can now do this. Wait, let me just position myself properly. Wait. Ba-boom! Yes. Yeah, they tried to trick you there by uh, giving you the, the fire enemy in that room. However, I know this game, so I know that I needed laser. See, the thing is, as much as... Despite how many times I died in extra mode, First off, it's nowhere, I, it's so much more than how many times I've died in this playthrough already, which isn't really all that many. Also, you see how I have 16 lives? If I had that many in, um, in extra mode, then apparently the game would be way too easy. And that's even on extra mode. Um, but yeah, I'm actually glad that I did the extra mode playthrough because if I didn't, A, I wouldn't have the bragging rights, and B, I, um, B, I wouldn't have the, um, the certain mini game that I will show you uh, during the fi during one of the final parts of the let's play as well as um, I wouldn't have actually known where um, certain secrets were because of I forgot about certain secrets keep in I keep in mind the first time I played this I played this game was as a child and luckily my most recent playthrough was actually well over the last few days. Behold my star power! Okay, never mind. <laughs> yes, of course! Allow me to totally miss my targets. Expertly. Hey, if you're gonna fail, fail like a rock star. Hmm. 
No, I wanted those extra lives. Wait, if I get beam. Oh boy. Come on. Give me beam. Ah, shoot. That would have been so cool. There we go. Yeah! Three more lives coming my way. Yes. I want to see how many lives I can actually accumulate before the end of this playthrough. Or, let's play. Back away, Sir Kibble. Haha, another extra life! 19 in total! And remember that zero is, um... Zero is... Also a life itself, so therefore, I, te I technically have 20 lives. 20 is uh, definitely one of my favorite numbers, if not my favorite number. Yeah, 20 is my favorite number. 20 is definitely my favorite number. So yay! Alright! Oh jeez! You are spiky and invincible and you want to hurt me, so no thank you. I'm out of here. Oh, jeez. Oh. Painful. Painful! Stop with the painful! Alright, end of the level. Yeah! Alright! This looks like a good stopping place. So! We've gotten a lot of stuff done here in Orange Ocean, and we even went back and got one of the secrets that I missed in the last episode, or recently, whenever it was. Anyways! We got it in the last world, that's, that's all I wanted to say. Alright, so! This has been another episode of Let's Play Kirby, Nightmare in Dreamland. I'm Crimson Nero. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, everyone, fare thee well.